Hi, this is a quick tutorial just showing how to normalize data using Microsoft Excel. Um, it's quite often when doing recordings in the laboratory or in the field that you will take a baseline reading from a subject or an experimental model and then you will do repeated measures either over time or with incremental drug doses. Um, in which case you'll get a series of data recordings from each subject uh, where the baseline may well be your representative control for each subject. Um, often you get biological variation between each subject and therefore your baseline recordings may be significantly different from each other and this makes trying to track the changes over time quite confusing because you may end up with quite a large data spread therefore a large standard deviation or standard error on your data sets therefore making visual analysis uh, complicated of course the statistical analysis is different because you'll do the repeated measures ANOVA as discussed in other tutorials which will help iron out some of these differences but that said sometimes it is nice to normalize data to a percentage value of baseline just to get an idea of how your data is changing so what we have here is a, in the orange up the top here, is seven subjects labeled A through to G recorded at six different time points. Time zero, one, two, three, four, and five minutes after administration of a drug, let's say. Here we are at time zero. This is our baseline, and I've highlighted that in blue on the screen here. And we've got seven quite different baseline values, 19, 14, 18, 10, 28, 9, and 10. And you can see there's quite a lot of variation. Our mean is shown here on the right at 15.7 with a standard deviation of 6.9. And these data are represented in this graph here on the right where we can see our mean with our standard deviation bars plotted in Excel, showing the data are quite varied over time. Uh, and to look at these data, it's difficult to say whether any of these differences might be significant or not because the error bars do overlap considerably in all our data points. So what we might want to do under this circumstance is normalize our data so that each of our subjects, A through to G, the data are represented as a percentage of our baseline. So for instance, subject A would have 100% at time 0, subject B 100% at time 0, etc. And then these various data points through minutes 1 through to 5 would be represented as a percentage of the time 0 data. Um, this is very easy to do in Excel. I've already set up a template down the bottom here called Normalize Data in Green and you can see I've already set up a graph on the right hand side which is currently empty because there are no data in our table. So the formula you need to work out percentage uh, is obviously quite easy to work out. It's basically the number divided by itself times 100. So in this case we're going to type in uh, subject A's baseline is its own baseline divided by itself times 100. And you can see that shows me 100% of baseline. That's all very well and good, but if I want to do this for every single cell, this is going to take a considerable amount of time. For instance, this time point I have to go equals this number divided by that number multiplied by 100, and that gives me a percentage of 53.1. Of course, this is going to take forever to do all this, so we're going to delete that and delete that for the time being and enter the formula in a way that's much easier to do. So we're going to go equals the first number divided by dollar C dollar five. This is an absolute reference. We're no longer referring to just this cell which is so many cells above our data. We're actually referring to this exact cell every time and then we do three times that by a hundred and you'll see how this works. If I then click on this, drag the little box on the bottom right hand corner down to the bottom, our data, each cell, you can see are referred to their own number divided by dollar C dollar five which always refers to cell number C5 which is the 19.2 and you can see that's the same for all of these it's dollar C dollar five if you look with the color representation in the top here the blue cell is our number cell and the green cell here is our representative or percentage of baseline cell and you can see it's always in each case referring to the top cell. So using this approach we can very quickly fill in this normalization curve by clicking on equals and then do the same for all the others. Once you've entered all of your data, as you can see here, we've entered uh, all of our percentages at the top. You can highlight the entire section, click on the little box on the bottom right, drag down 
and now it's filled the entire table with our normalized data. You can see that at time zero, all subjects A through to G, and I'm just going to highlight that in blue, are represented as 100% with a mean of 100 with no standard deviation. And you can see time one, two, three, four, and five minutes post administration of our drug now show percentages as a percentage of our baseline. And you can see the graph is automatically plotted here on the right hand side. And we can now see that in fact all of our data are, are in fact quite tight. And there's only significant variation really at time minute two, whereas at all other time points our data are fairly tight. And each subject responded as a percentage of its own baseline in the same manner. So that shows you how to normalize these kind of data. In another tutorial I'll show you how to normalize other data where you only have a set of control recordings from maybe different subjects, um, but in the meantime I hope this helps.